Aww. He's cute. Would I date him? No, but still. <laughs> not me not learning the message of this movie. reacting to the new Netflix movie Love Hard. This is a rom-com that is about a girl who has been online dating this dreamy guy who seems to be her perfect man and she believes so much that he is her soulmate that she decides to take a trip all the way across the country to see him for Christmas only to find out that she got catfished. And worst of all, the catfish turns out to be an Asian dude, which apparently seems to be the nightmare of every white woman. I just I don't know if this movie is gonna be good or not, but I figure that we can find out together. My prediction is maybe she will end up falling for the guy that catfished her instead, and she'll learn to see past him being Asian and learn his inner beauty, I guess. And that, my friends, is how you truly hashtag stop Asian hate. Beauty is in the beholder of the chinky eye. All right, before I piss off even more people, let's just go ahead and start the movie. It's been said that according to Greek mythology, Humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Zeus split them into two separate parts, condemning humans to spend the rest of their lives searching for their other half, their souls equal. I've heard of this story, and I think it's a cute sentiment if you're into the whole soulmates kind of thing, but I don't really agree with it intrinsically. I feel like it just implies that you are incomplete until you find a romantic partner. And that shouldn't be true because you should already be complete without having to depend on another person for that. Or maybe I'm just saying that because I know I will end up alone. Just like the Asian lead in this movie. Maybe I need to catfish an actor from The Vampire Diaries. Maybe that's the secret. I've turned my horrible love life into a successful online writing career. Ooh, okay, prediction. She's gonna meet up with the guy who turns out to be the unattractive Asian dude, and she decides to write an entire article about it, and their third act conflict later on is when he discovers the article and he sees all the horrible shit that she says about him, despite them actually building up their relationship together, and he's gonna be heartbroken and upset, and he's gonna think that she actually never liked him at all, and that she was just mocking him the entire time, and it's gonna be this whole misunderstanding. That's gonna be my prediction. Let's see if it happens. How is it that everyone has found the one and I haven't? Either I'm the unluckiest woman in the world or my picker is broken. I'm sorry. I cannot believe that a woman who looks like that is the unluckiest woman in the world and she cannot find a date at all. Girl, come on. Oh, but no kiwi because I know, I'm- I know, you're allergic. No kiwi. The last time an intern forgot, I almost died. Another prediction. She's gonna end up staying over at the Asian guy's place. His family is gonna serve her something with kiwi. She's gonna have an allergic reaction. It's gonna be another quirky, kooky mess. Just rom-com things. Passionate about life and all things outdoors. Looking for a woman who's spontaneous and drama-free. Mm, I feel like a guy who explicitly states that he's looking for drama-free women is the one bringing the drama himself. That's a red flag for me. I would have swiped left, but that's also why I'm alone. What's your favorite Christmas movie? That's easy. Hands down, Die Hard. <sighs> I know the kind of girl this bitch is. She's not like other girls. Her favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. She just gets along with all the guys so much better, you know? They're just so drama free. This guy is like friggin' hot. He's Asian American and speaks three languages. Wait, he's Asian? Maybe he's mixed, but still. Why would the friend point out that he's Asian specifically? Like, why would the friend just zero in on him being Asian? When I first saw your profile, I thought you'd just be another guy who's really hot and has a dick pic on standby. What makes you think I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. No one has ever made that joke before. He's so witty. My mom passed away last year. You would have loved her. Everyone did. Of course. It can't just be any other Netflix movie without the protagonist's mom being dead. Does it serve a purpose this story? Not really. It's just an easy way to give her a character without actually giving her a character. Notice how every main character that doesn't have a mom has no personality. I'm sensing a correlation here. I prefer to just stay in and cook. Oh, you cook? Oh yeah, all the time. Tonight, I will be assisted in the kitchen by 
Chef Boyardee and my good friends Ben and Jerry. Listen, this is how I know I'm broken because these are the kinds of conversations if I were to meet someone on a dating app that would ruin me. I'd be so fucking bored and then I would contemplate buying rope from Walmart. Is this too dark of a joke to make? I'm sorry, this is why I'm not mentally stable enough to date people. Also, they've been talking on the phone forever. How come they haven't FaceTimed? How come she hasn't thought about that? That was him driving a car in Days of Thunder, him hanging from the ceiling of Mission Impossible. Oh, Drake! <sighs> I had no idea that this movie was so homoerotic. I wish this movie was homoerotic. Then maybe I would pay attention more. Aw, he is kind of cute in her imagination. <laughs> Isn't that always the case, though? We like the idea of someone, but not actually the person themselves. What was your favorite book as a kid? It was a book of poems called Where the Sidewalk Ends. You cannot go to school today, said little Peggy Ann McKay. I can't believe that you know that. No, he just looked that up. We all know that men don't read. We all know they're illiterate. <laughs> She used to read that to me when I was little. He used to help me sleep. Oh my god, he's gonna read to her so she can fall asleep. Ooh, that's intimate. I fucking knew it. Ooh, she's down bad. When you have just connected this moment to a memory that she had with her dead mom, that's deception right there. That's kind of cruel, dude. I feel bad for her. Why is he even leading her on like that and catfishing her? Josh? Good morning. <laughs> Dude, my phone would be dead. <laughs> Imagine having the battery storage. Mm, if a guy is asking you, is that crazy? I don't trust him. I met someone. I think this might be the real deal. I'd like to write about that instead. I'm not buying it. Your dating life is a disaster. But you should be thankful because it's why you have a job. This is what happens. When you are happy and content in life and you're in love, you don't have any interest in content. <laughs> Only misery breeds the best content. I'm gonna fly to Lake Placid, New York. I'm gonna surprise Josh and I'm gonna get my happy ending. So you haven't even met this dude yet? Not, not in person, oh, but- Oh, I take it all back. No, I take everything back. You should write about this. You should fly across the country and surprise a virtual stranger for the holidays. Wait a minute, I'm seeing all the parallels. There was something similar that happened a while back where this girl went viral on Twitter because she decided to go on this flight to surprise someone and confess her love to them and then he rejected her. And it was this whole ordeal on Twitter. So this guy has a point. There will be content generated from this. We can all see the disaster coming. How does she even know where he lives though? I'm insane, what are they doing? This might be the most sane thing you've ever done. I'm the friend right now because I enable bullshit like this. If I have a friend who tends to get into drama, I like to watch, okay? Why are you wearing a skirt in the middle of winter? Was it worth it to look cute? How could you possibly know that? Josh Lynn is an old buddy of mine. I'm giving the stuff we used to smoke in his basement after school. Oh my gosh, she's gonna find out that the guy is an Asian loser who's also a stoner. He really is me. <laughs> this is so awkward. Like, why would you show up to someone's house that you've never met before and you basically meet their parents? And like, how do you even explain that? This is Josh's dad and this is his grandmother, June. Hello, dear. I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna keep on watching. Are you his G-word? Geisha? <gasps> no. Not Geisha. <laughs> Bitch. That's fucking funny. Is it problematic? Yeah, but that's why it's funny. I'm sorry. Cancel me. Cancel me. Go ahead and do it. I thought it was funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so fucking embarrassed. I'm so mortified. I'm spitting. I'm screaming. I'm crying. I'm shitting my plans. Uh, I... She's like... You're a chink! I knew you were Asian, but I thought you would at least be mixed so that I would find it acceptable for you to be attractive. I don't understand. We talked. I made sure. The photo. It had my name on it. You wrote, bye Natalie. I'm pretty good at Photoshop. Okay, first of all, he's an ugly Asian loser. He smokes weed and he's good at Photoshop. I could have played this character. I could have been in this movie. Oh my God, imagine if she were catfished by a woman and then they fall in love. <gasps> Why do I always do that? Why do I always make everything gay? Stop projecting, Cindy! 
me? No, 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 no. What kind no. of psychopath creates a fake profile and then starts a fake relationship <laughs> online? Whoa, what kind of psycho flies across the country and just shows up at somebody's front lawn? You said, and I quote, I wish you were here with me for Christmas. But well, that's just something people say. Like, your baby's so cute or my diet starts tomorrow. They both got a point because that wasn't an invite. People can just say shit like that and not actually mean it. But on the other hand, why the fuck did you catfish her in the first place? You can tell that she was really falling for him and that's just like deceitful. You wasted her time. <laughs> but we got a movie out of it, so let's see what happens. Nobody is blaming anybody. Maybe I get it. You, you never dated a Chinese guy before and you kind of sh in shock. <laughs> oh shit. Uh-uh, don't pull the race card. It ain't even about that. Yes, I have. He was born in Beijing and he was amazing in bed. Okay, girl, you, you need to call it. You can't just pull the, oh, I dated Asian men before card. It's weird. Is he shorter than her? Because <laughs> this shit would be really funny. That shit would be like the final nail in the coffin. You know what? I'm digging this movie. I think it's funny. I think it's funny when bad things happen to people. I'll say it. I'll admit it. They really picked the whitest mixed Asian guy they could find. They should have at least cast Henry Golding or something. Oh no, she's getting kiwi. Shit. Well, RIP to her. Up next, we have Natalie. Sweet baby Jesus. This is so embarrassing. You know what would be funny though? If the Asian guy fucking had to give her CPR or something. I don't know. I just want this to be more mortifying. Well, I won't do that. And this wasn't that embarrassing. I'm disappointed. Cause she looks like any other woman who doesn't look like a celebrity. You know what I mean? She's like, oh my God, I look like a regular person now. I know Tag better than he knows himself. I can help you get him. Why would you do that? Maybe you can do something for me in return. What, is she gonna teach him how to not be a weirdo? I was thinking maybe you can just um, pretend to be my girlfriend until Christmas. I kind of want to see them fall in love. I would want to see how that gets pulled off. This is where the magic happens. <gasps> Does he literally live in a basement? Hey, you know, it's not that bad. He has a bed frame. His bed is raised from the ground. It looks like a queen or king size bed too. That's not bad. I just know it smells though. It probably smells dick. All right, well, good night. No, you on the floor now. This is the only Tempur-Pedic in the house and I have a really bad bed. <laughs> this movie's fucking funny. We ain't sharing. What if we just put pillows in the middle? No. I have shared the bed with people before and because I'm afraid of intimacy, I also put pillows in between us. I actually love that shirt. I would wear it. It has cute colors too. Nice design and everything. First thing you need to know about Tag is he likes outdoorsy adventurous women, not Instagram models who count carbs. It's weird to make those two things seem like they're mutually exclusive because a lot of Instagram models love to go hiking. There's tons of influencers that do hiking and outdoorsy shit, so wouldn't he be against like lazy women like me? <laughs> I want you to meet my cousin Natalie and Natalie I want you to meet my old friend Tag. You two are cousins? Well, uh, from my stepmom's side, so that would technically make us step cousins. A distinction that only really matters if you're from Alabama. Not the incest jokes. Pack it up, Cassandra Claire. That's my favorite book. I reread it every year. I find him so inspiring. Rather than love, than money, than fame, give me truth. I don't care about this dude. This guy does nothing for me. My vagina fell asleep already. You know, a few of us are actually climbing at Rock Ventures tomorrow too when they join. Hell yeah, let's do it. How am I gonna climb a wall? I can teach you right here. I mean, how bad could you possibly be? Mm-hmm, and then he's about to climb on your vaginal walls later on, Hey! I created my own line of masculine candles that captures the essence of a dude. But 50% of the US candle market is underserved. So then why don't you serve them? And ask your dad for a loan. I feel like he's the target customer. Have you met him? He's only interested in sporty, manly things. He and my brother, they just tease me about it. Aw, I like his candle making idea. I think he would do really well in that. I think Jimmy Yang, the actor, makes him really endearing. And he's funny. Honestly, he makes the movie. You have a brother? The prodigal son has returned. <laughs> Imagine if his brother was Henry Golding. It would be fucking game over. Like, why even try at this point? Natalie is your brother's girlfriend. <laughs> you, oh, you're, you're, 
You're serious. Well, we were just saying in the car, right? We were, we were, we were talking about this talking for like about hours it. about how yeah. how is Joshy still single? Yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, he still lives at home, and you know, the glasses aren't doing many favors. <laughs> oh, we. This is a Christmas miracle. He's such a douchebag. You can tell he's so self-absorbed. It's okay, Jimmy Yang. I'm on your side. Let's smoke a bong together, dude. We would be great friends. Speaking of stocks, uh, the market has been crazy this year. Ew, this guy talks about stocks for fun. Get the hell out of here. No, really, you need to get out before he starts talking about Bitcoin. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Look at this. Look at Junior Jumbo Josh. Oh, yes! Look at that rat tail. Do you see that? You know, I'm actually super grateful for my awkward teenage years. They helped me develop resilience, sure. empathy. If it wasn't for that, I'd be, I don't know, an insensitive, attention-seeking jerk. <laughs> I actually hope that whoever I date is a hot person, but they used to be ugly when they were younger. Because if you date someone who's been hot all their life, they're gonna know it. They're gonna operate in a different reality from you. If you date someone who's hot, but they used to be ugly, that affects them mentally. They bring that mentality with them, and that's how they'll lower their standards for you. That's how they think that you two are still in the same league together, and that's what I want. <laughs> I thought you guys said this was hard. Not bad. My turn. Oh, he's gonna help her down because he knows she's scared. Maybe this movie is cute after all. Damn it. I'm so easy like that. That's right, Short King. Show your woman how it's done. Heart the highest angel sing. Glory to the newborn king. Whoa. Oh my god, when did this become a musical? Isn't that the guy from Glee anyway? He's having his moment. Imagine if the guy's girlfriend had been played by Leah Michelle. That would be so funny. She needs a role since she didn't get wicked. Do we have any more requests? Maybe it's cold outside. Natalie and I got this one, Dad. Oh my god, they're gonna sing together? This is so cute. I actually like this movie. I'm not singing that. That is like the sexual assault theme song. Just do your part. I'm gonna change my lyrics so the song doesn't sound so uh, mm -hmm. rapey. Wow, so romantic. I really can't stay. No problem, there's the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking funny. This evening has been totally consensual. So what's in this drink? It's just lemon LaCroix. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking good. He's so funny. Come on, girl. Just get with him. Is he just wing this the entire time? Because if so, he's so good. Aw, this is so cute and funny. I think we should tell him. Time I think to tell it's time. Them. Can I have your attention? So Please. Oh, they're gonna tell them that they're getting married or they're pregnant. After hearing all this singing about babies, we just got so darn excited. Mom, Dad, you're gonna be grandparents. We're pregnant. You know what'd be funny if Nina Dobrev decided to steal the show and was like, "I'm also pregnant." May I have everyone's attention, please? Wait, is he gonna propose to her? Is he going to propose to her? Oh no. <laughs> Natalie Bauer, will you marry me? <gasps> hey, he doesn't even have a ring. Just say yes. Not the grandma giving the ring. Oh my god. Bro, what the fuck is going on? So we just gotta make it through Christmas. Then when you get back to LA, I just tell him we didn't work out. Your family is gonna be crushed. Don't worry. They're very used to me disappointing them. What about Tag? I have a date with him tomorrow. What if he finds out that I'm engaged to my cousin? Oh my god, he's gonna find out. What in the Alabama bullshit is this? I haven't been on a hike date in years. This is not the date. It's just a warm up. You ever been bobsledding before? Relax. The tension is the only thing holding me together. Put in your AirPods and put on some music. Actually, I think I have something even better. Oh my gosh, she's gonna get high? Yes, fish, that's how you do it. Oh, I've never felt more alive. For the first time, I met someone who's as perfect in person as they are on paper. Okay, relax, girl. You only hung out with him once. It's not that serious. Oh, What's sorry, this? that one's just for me. What is this one? Grandpa. I started making candles because of him in the first place. They say a scent can make a memory come alive, so I made one of him. Oh my god, I thought for a moment <laughs> that he made a candle with her scent, but that would have been super creepy. Maybe he'll do it later, I don't know. I feel like this whole candle thing is gonna build up to something. It's going to print little lovebirds. Your engagement announcement is gonna be in the Gazette tomorrow. 
<gasps> no! This is actually pretty funny. This is more of like a comedy than a romance. I don't know if they're gonna be together because I don't really feel like the romantic tension, but I think it's funny. Do you still have your original profile photos? You're holding an ax. You literally look like an ax murderer. Oh my God, if I ever got on Tinder, this gives me the idea where every picture I have on my profile should just be me holding an ax. I think the only time I was on Tinder was when my profile picture was just me sitting on a throne surrounded by men. Honestly, pretty solid photo. I was fixing the toilet downstairs. <laughs> what? You're holding a wrench, an axe, and some rope. Dude, I want a bunch of profile pictures of myself on a dating app to just be me holding various weapons. Maybe I will go back on the dating game. Not to find love, but just to fucking freak people out. No wonder you only got three matches. You were hiding your strengths. And what strengths are those? For one, you have very nice eyes. And what's that supposed to mean, huh? You calling him chinky eyes? Just kidding. I'm just trying to start drama. What do you think? It's the best I could find in your mom's closet, but I did have to make a couple of alterations. I hope she doesn't mind. <gasps> Why didn't she ask about the alterations? I would be pissed. Not her wearing his mom's dresses. Pack it up, Feyre from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Yeah, don't you think? Maybe this is going a little too far. Pretending to like rock climbing or book, that's one thing, but now you're compromising your beliefs. What are you gonna lie about tomorrow? I'm sorry, <laughs> lie? Let's not forget that the only reason I'm here is because you lied. She got a point, she got a point. I lied about a photo. No, you hid behind a photo. You lied about your identity. But it was still me. But it was still under a different photo. Every conversation we had, every text we exchanged, every laugh we shared, it was me. You liked me. And you liked me so much, you flew across the country to surprise me for Christmas. You're right, I liked you. But you were a lie, a piece of fiction. Damn. Honestly, it's not the same because even though you were talking as yourself, your photos were different. And in dating, appearances unfortunately do factor into whether a person would be attracted to another person or not. I mean, that's how it is for most people. Like even if he talked to her in the same conversations, but he had his photos, would she be attracted to him? I don't think so. I honestly do not think so. They're not gonna feel the sparks. She feels nothing. Turns out she has a little yellow fever after all. I'm sorry, but in real life, the main guy would be an incel. I mean, just look at him. Look at his posture, look at his hoodie. He looks depressing. He looks like he complains on Reddit about how nice guys finish last. Many of you have expressed interest in online dating. Well, I've brought you two experts. You want to put your best foot forward, but then the insecurities creep. And you start with just a slight exaggeration. Here we go. We're going to get some speech about how he has learned his lesson. And he should just be an honest version of himself, blah, 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 blah. Imagine how awkward it is to be like a side character in the movie. And then you hear the main character say this long speech that's really just a projection of their own issues onto a completely irrelevant situation. You're not just fooling yourself. There's someone else on the other side of that lie falling in love with a version of you that doesn't exist. That, that's not fair because the only way it ends for them is disappointment. And the only way it ends for you <gasps> is heartbreak. Is heartbreak. <gasps> oh my god! Not him confessing! If I've learned anything is that love doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be honest. Aww. That's awkward. Your parents throws a surprise engagement party? Oh my god. This is so awkward. Oh no. Oh no. The other guy's gonna find out. Hey, bit. I wanna introduce you to my parents. Oh my god. This is so awkward. Shit. Hi. He just told us so much about you. Yeah, he never says anything about his girlfriend, so. Uh... Dad. <laughs> girlfriend? What? This movie's making me mortified. Can you believe the J Dog is getting married? Chick's pretty cool, too. I haven't met her yet. And she's right there. Dude, that's his cousin. I don't judge. You love. You do love. <gasps> oh my god, bitch! This is so. Could I have everyone's attention? I think the whole family agrees that you've picked a winner. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be exposed in front of everybody for writing an article. This shit is gonna blow up so badly in her face. <laughs> I love mess. I love mess. No! I'd like to add to your beautiful 
beautiful speech with my own speech. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so embarrassed, but I can't even turn away right now. Dishonesty, because that's what I've been, dishonest. Oh, here we fucking go. Here we go, it's the same fucking speech again. Boo, this fucking sucks, dude. I wanted to see this shit blow up in her face. Damn. But then when I got here, I realized that the guy I was really talking to was him. But Josh told me that he would help get me tag if I pretended to be his girlfriend for the holidays. She's literally reading off the Wikipedia article about this movie. Here's the synopsis of this entire thing. Do you even climb? <laughs> Do you even climb, bro? I literally had to get stoned to get through it. That's my girl. Yeah, that's my girl. Let's fucking go. Congratulations. I honestly don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares about you. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Yeah. Okay, whatever, leave. Go cry about it. Your only personality is that you like to go hiking. That's it. <gasps> I knew the candles would build up to something. She's gone. Go after her, dude. This is a romance movie. You know what you're gonna do. Aww. He's cute. Would I date him? No, but still. <laughs> <laughs> not me not learning the message of this movie. When you found out you were getting catfished, why didn't you just leave? Why did you really stay? I just find it odd. Because you usually run at the first sign of imperfection. Josh is imperfect, but yet you decided to stay? Wait, how is Josh imperfect? What's that supposed to mean, hmm? Why did you really stay, Nina Dobrev? Why did you stay with this imperfect man? This imperfect, ugly looking, chinky eyed man? Maybe you liked his imperfections? Maybe you liked how fucking hideous he was? But this time, I realized that in order to find true love, I need to be honest about who I am too. And maybe that's been the problem all along. Oh my God, please. I can't deal with another speech that summarizes the moral of the movie. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, those are nice pictures too. Come on, girl. Swipe right on him. What if she was like, actually, I realize I'm not into Asian men. Aww, fuck, this is cute. <laughs> Wait, what if she's like, I've spent my life looking for the perfect guy, but now I'm settling. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up. This is a cute moment. Oh, that's cute. Okay, my camera ran out of battery, so I'm filming this on my phone. That is so fucking cute. Like, it just, uh, it's cheesy, but it makes sense for them with all of their inside jokes that they've had. Oh my God, aw, this is cute. I guess what's hard for me to figure out is like, how do you know if you like someone romantically versus liking them just as a really good friend? Because the whole time that she's hanging out with him, you could just say that they're really good friends, right? How does she know that it's romantic? Like there wasn't really any point in the story where she was like, oh, I actually want to kiss him or I want to do like romantic things with him. They were really only hanging out as friends. I didn't really feel the attraction. So yeah, I don't know. I like this movie though. I think it's cute. I think Jimmy Yang really did make the movie more enjoyable because he's just easy to like. I would say Netflix put out a solid Christmas romance movie. Speaking of Netflix, something that I tend to do every time they have a movie or TV show that's only available in specific countries is use NordVPN, which is the sponsor of today's video. I've been using NordVPN for over a year now and the main reason has really just to watch things that I wouldn't get access to otherwise, but it's also really good for protecting your data, especially while you're traveling. You can even get double data encryption so that you can stay extra anonymous and you won't have advertisers tracking your data. They have super fast servers because there's over 5,560 countries. You can get up to six simultaneous connections. There's 24 seven customer support. And if you don't like it for whatever reason, you can get a 30 day money back guarantee. They have a cyber month deal where you can go to norvpn.com slash read with Cindy to get a two year plan plus one additional month for free with a huge discount. Go ahead and subscribe to NordVPN and unsubscribe from my channel. Goodbye.